Hello, Purple Rosa here, and in this housing ideas and tips video, I will be showing you how you can do windows with the solitude structural furniture items, as well as maybe towards the end I'll look at some of the other, say the Elsewhere and the Eleanor structural items, and how you can do windows with those. But firstly, yeah, these solitude structures, it's easy to make windows with them. So for this, you will need the elsewhere wall low stones. You'll need the solitude wall low curved stone, as well as the solitude archway stone and the solitude post stone wall. Now, I'll show you this one first. It's just a simple window. So you place down a solitude wall low stone. Then you get two more low walls and just place them on the side. One there and the other one on that side. And then you get another low wall and you put it upside down and just place it up there and you have your window and you can easily use the solitude walls on the side to make your structure like so and of course use them above if you're making a big structure depends on your build so if you're using the curved walls, making like a tower or just using the curved walls, doing the same method as this, but instead you get a solitude wall low curved, put it down, get another one, and you flip it upside down like so, and put it there and you get two of the solitude wall low stones and put them on their side like so and yeah you've got your enclosed window like so and moving on to the archway so with the archway you simply get it you place it down however big you want it like that and then you get a solitude wall low stone put it on the bottom like that and it fits in perfectly there you just gotta maneuver it around make it look perfect and you've got a window with an archway and yeah, you just put the walls and that on the side to enclose your structure. And if your window is like near, like a section like this of your structure, and you don't have space to put a solitude wall there, you can just use this solitude post. And yeah, just use two of them like that to enclose your corner. I use this trick in my Stillwater's Lodge build. Now, the windows right now are just open. And there is a number of things that you can use to enclose the windows so first up we got the argonian lattice rough so you can simply place that in and you've got a window there that you can actually look out of and because the lattice isn't too thick if you say use this 
on a higher level and you've got like a wall underneath it, it's thin enough that it will actually fit in the wall and you won't see it at all. There's also these solitude fence sticks. These ones are a home goods furniture item in solitude. So you'll need two of these and you place it like so. You'll probably have to make the window a bit smaller to fit with these because these are not that big and yeah you'll need two of these fences to fit like that and yeah you have a window that would be functional like that so another simple way is to use these red guard fence woodens now these are only in the Furniture Crown store and I'm not sure how much they are on the live service but you will need two of these to fit in the window because you put them on the side like so and yeah I've linked two together side by side and they will fit in that window perfectly like that and it just makes a nice window that maybe has glass in it that you can open and close like shutters I do like using that but yeah they are a crown store only furniture item same with these Alien Great Smalls. But yeah, you'll need two of these as well to fit there. And they could also be like shutters that you could open and close. And they work well as a window. Just like that. It's not perfect, but it works. <laughs> Or there's also the Alien, Alien Great Tall. It's the same as the small ones here, but because these ones are smaller, if you use the tall ones, you can make like a bigger window and you will need two of these as well. Maybe if I fit it like that, it'll look better. <laughs> so yeah, you will need two of those to make the window. And yeah, that also works. So yeah, using the solitude structures to make windows works well because the stonework doesn't look too bad like when you match it with the walls and you're making a big structure. It actually does work. And if there is imperfections, you can cover it with paintings, tapestries or curtains. It's up to you. So with the other elsewhere Walls, you can use these to make windows as well. It's just a bit more difficult because of how these walls are. Like you got the thicker bottom and that thinner top. But you could maybe use them as well to make a window. I haven't actually experimented much with these other ones myself but you could probably make it work it'll just be a bit more difficult because the stonework might not match but yeah you can use the same method 
and just play around with it and I'm sure you'll be able to make it work for you somehow if you choose to use the elsewhere walls. You can also do the same with the Eleanor smaller walls. I'll just grab the ones I used over here. So like with the doorways, except you need four of these Eleanor wall stone lungs. So yeah, same idea as with the doorways, you just get it quickly over. Do it like so and you'll need another one on the bottom. Like that. And yeah, you've got your window there. You could use those if you wish. It's up to you. <laughs> and yeah, you've got a window that you can look out of there and the Eleanor ones might actually be easier to use with the windows and that. And of course, you have the Merkmeyer walls, which makes cool looking windows because of how the walls are designed. You have the little triangle bit and you can actually make triangle type windows which I find is cool it's not perfect but you get the idea you can actually have windows like that now if you're making a wooden structure and you want to do windows, you still can. So, if you use the elsewhere platform wooden smalls as your walls, as you can see, you can make a window. So, all you simply do is put one on the bottom like that. Then you get another one on the top. You put two on the sides and you still got a functional window that you can look out of. Now if you're using these wooden structural items, you can also use the elsewhere wall rough wooden with it and it should still match and work. It won't be perfect on this other side, but if you actually use this, use these elsewhere structural items for a build, you actually spend more time yourself making it look perfect. You could probably use these walls as windows as well. It just won't look as good as these elsewhere platforms because these platforms have the the actual wood frame around that whereas with these ones you wouldn't have that wood frame but you could still make it work and you can also use the new solitude shed wood lean-tos. I know these are classed as brews, but you can also probably still try to use them as a wall if you choose to. So I'll just place that down roughly like that. The only problem is if you're using these as walls, I'll just place down four because I'll need those. The top of it is a bit of a, on an angle, but you can probably still make it work with the window. So I'll just keep it 
all the same. By that I mean, because the outside, you want the way the wood panelling's going to match. Because if you switch it around and have it like that instead, just as an example, the wood panelling's a different way in order to look all weird. So yeah, to keep that all the same for the outside, you can use these for a window and use them as walls. And you can probably make that work for you. You just have to make it look more perfect than I have here. So yeah, that's just some window ideas you can use with these solitude structures and I know I briefly showed the other structural items but I spent more time with the solitude structures because I did experiment on ways to do the windows more with these ones, with my Stillwater's Lodge build and the tower that I did. So hopefully these window ideas will help you and like with the doorways you can also use these wood pillars just to add that extra design around your windows like so. But yeah, it's up to you. To interpret, you can take these ideas and then adapt them to your own needs, change it up, just be creative. <laughs> so yeah, I hope these ideas will help you in your builds. If you have any questions, do ask in the comments below. And I will see you around. Thanks for watching.